Hey guys, um, in today's lesson we're going to learn how to model with non-linear deformers. Okay, so another way to model in Maya is using some animation tools. All right, Maya has some deformers that you can use to change surfaces. Okay, and they're re usually um, they're found in um, animation. Okay. Now, typically these tools are used for animation, but you can still use them as modeling tools. So let's see how, to, how um, we can actually use these tools. So we're going to start with modeling a polygonal uh, cylinder, using a polygonal cylinder. I'll make it fairly tall, that way we can see what we're working with alright just uh, press 5 to shade it now go in your in your channel box just click on that on um, your cylinder and and uh, increase your subdivision height increase it to um, yeah click on height middle click then drag drag it to um, something like nine nine will do so yeah, even ten that's fine okay so now go into make sure make sure your drop down menu is animation so you can have your animation menus on top all right go to animation yep now go to um, create deformers okay then nonlinear then we're looking at these options so we might as well just tear this one up and um, put it somewhere where we can see it. Now let's go through these these um, options. Though even though they can be self-explanatory, let's go through all of them one by one. All you have to do is um, select. Make sure your uh, object is selected. Okay. Make sure you select your object or faces or components within an object in other words yeah uh, in other words it doesn't have to so you don't have to select the whole object you can select components or vertices or whatever to actually um, animate it you don't have to select the entire object but in this case for um, for learning purposes we're gonna select the whole object okay and um, yeah, we're gonna select the object, and just to point out something, the fact that you can actually select entire um, individual objects or faces makes it a good modeling tool because you can actually um, you can actually uh, put these deformers on parts of the model. Okay, you can put the deformers on parts of the model, like uh, uh, just a little bit, uh, a percentage of the model. So let's just um, use our options on the entire object just to see how these work. So just select the entire object just to see how they work. So in our first uh, lesson, we're going to use bend. We're going to work with bend, okay? So now uh, make sure this one is selected, then hit bend, okay? If we, if we go to um, our channel box, bend has these options, okay? Bend has um, those options. Now, let's go to Attributes Editor. You see you've got um, Bend on here. So you, you've got Curvature that you can use to change your curve, your curvature of your, of your object. Um, you've got the Bend. You can bend the bottom. As you can see, it's moving, even though it's not moving so much. Okay. See that? And you've got low bend and high bend, both of them. All right. Now, the same the same um let me just turn on my fans a bit hot. The same the same options that you've got on here can be accessed can be accessed um from here. Click um the manipulator tool, okay, this one here. Just click on that. You will be able to. In fact, guys, we might as well just, cause um to 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 avoid confusion, 
we might as well just redo everything that we've done to like sort of start afresh okay but yeah anyway we can actually do exactly what we did before in the attributes editor by selecting here okay then go into um, bend because we've selected the, the manipulator too okay we'll be able to actually it's it's always good to actually um, to actually rotate your object to see if there's you get the idea you you get it one uh, you get it in a, in a bit so anyway you will be able to actually bend it you you would be you um able to actually manipulate the curvature okay so if we actually look in here in the attributes editor if we actually bring up the attributes editor you notice that it's actually moving like in the background see on there it's actually moving so that's pretty um the manipulate this um manipulating tool is like a shortcut to that you don't need to know exactly what's go what's going on under the hood but um that's what you need to know and uh, you can do everything low bend high bend everything so again let's uh undo that yeah undo that and go to flare okay flare is another tool that um manipulates your object you can actually um let's click on that you can actually change the the um spell with me guys anyway guys you can um change the end flare like uh using the z axis you can use the x axis and again these are self explanatory work with them you can actually bulge the curve kinda yeah just play with them and see how you can do the bottom as well so um yeah just play with them and uh I don't use them, you won't use them every day, but I just want you guys to know that they're there and you can use them if you want to use them. Um, and again, sign is pretty much uh, making some sort of a, like a wave kind of thing, you know? That's what it uh, pretty much is. Mm. Look at that. Like, yeah, this can be a good anime, like, uh, pretty much making a character dance or whatever. But anyway, I just want to show you what's there. What, what, what else is there? What else, what else is on the plate? Squash is another one. We can actually bow without uh, losing the, um, using the, losing the size. You just... Um yeah, play with them and see twist is another thing that but we just have to make sure we've got both um okay, let's go to twist see it's only you're only able to see if you've got um like shading on whatever. There you go, guys. And again, I don't use them every day, but just bear in mind you, you just have to know what what else is you know what else is available. You know, I don't use this every day. Wave is uh, another way of um, like pretty much increasing your amplitude or whatever. So there you go. If you notice the top, you the top is changing. So 
if you wanna like draw spikes or something like that you'd um, use that you know like sharp objects or like trap uh, what, what's it called worth of trap or oh you get the idea guys I'll let your imaginations uh, run wild yep so that's all that's all you you need to know and now you can uh, certainly use okay you can certainly use these as animate as animation tools but I find them very valuable I don't know it's up to you but personally I find them very valuable when I need them as modeling tools as well okay well when I need I need them which is every oh just once in a while so guys make sure you learn them and uh, yeah just be familiar with them thanks a lot and uh, don't forget to subscribe see you in the next tutorial